The cool thing about you is that you cared enough about your relationship to click on this video. That is the cool thing about you. There are so many people in this world today who say that they have good relationships with their friends, with their spouse, with their children, co-workers, or whatever it is, that they have good relationships and they don't need any help. I'm not talking about good relationships. I'm talking about epic relationships. Yeah, there's a huge difference between a good relationship and an epic relationship. There really is. So what's the definition of an epic relationship? Well, let me just ask you this. If you, let's, let's use the scenario of a marriage because a lot of people can relate with marriage. Some people can't make it work and other people can. How do they do that? So let's just say marriage because it's easier. Although we know that there's different kinds of relationships. You got relationships with your children. You got relationships with the people you work with at work. You got relationships with all kinds of people, uh, your neighbors or whatever. Um, and and let me define relationship. So you don't think it's somebody you have a kissing intimacy with. Uh, relate relationship comes from the word relate. You relate with somebody. So if you go into a fast food joint and you're sitting at a table and you say, this is a good burger. And somebody else says, yeah, this is a good burger. Oh yeah. And we both love this burger. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Woo. That's a relationship because you relate. You relate on the same subject. Or if you're running a marathon and you're in a race or something and, and you, you're run along and you start talking and you become friends. You relate. You have something that you relate to. That's what a relationship is. And the more areas that you can relate to, the stronger the relationship is. Somebody that you get married to, you need to have a deep relationship on every level of your life. For example, you wouldn't want to marry somebody just because they looked good because that's only on one level. What about their, their mind? What about their thoughts? That's another level. What about their feelings? What about their heart? That's a whole nother level. What about their, what they like to do, their social life, their activities? Well, that's a whole nother level. And what about how they want to raise their family or spend their money or, or those kinds of things? That's a whole nother level. You can marry somebody for their money, but maybe you don't relate on anything else. It's important to relate on lots of different areas. But back to epic relationship and what an epic relationship is and the difference between just a regular relationship that's good, where a lot of people say, oh, I've got a good relationship. I'm good. I don't need any help. Ha, huh. that's okay. If you if they feel that way, that they don't need any help, that they don't want any epicness in their relationship, that's okay. But an epic relationship is one that is growing and progressing. For example, if you married somebody and you had a perfect relationship, but that perfect relationship stayed exactly the same 10 years, so 20 years, 30 years, if it was exactly the same, as it was when it was brand new, and it never grew, it never changed, it never developed, that relationship would be pretty lame. People get tired of the same thing over and over again, even if it's wonderful and perfect at first. Epic means growth. Epic means, poof, way out there, off the charts growth. And if your relationship is growing like that, then you should be sharing this video with people saying, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, people, where my relationship is growing. It's epic. And I want you to have epic relationships too because there are so many people in the world nowadays whose relationships are tanking, man. They are just like dropping out like Flies, they can't maintain a single relationship for more than a couple of days, let alone a lifetime. And why is that? 